Yo legend, this is Simon here and I help people raise their baseline. And today I wanna to talk with you about how you can master your morning routine and why it's so essential for you to become the high performer you wanna be. See, controlling your morning routine is not just about controlling your morning routine because why? Controlling your morning routine is such an essential thing for you to set up your day, for you to set up your week, for you to set up your life. You heard about, you know, for you to have a great life, you need to master your day, right? And for you to have a good day, you need to master your morning because your morning is something magical. You might be more of a night person and you like to go to bed late, you know, and then wake up a little bit later and all that. We're all different, but I'm just here to tell you that if you can train yourself to wake up early in the morning before everybody is up, I promise you something magical will happen for you. So I've been waking up at 5 a.m. every single day for the last four years now. And, you know, naturally you become tired at nighttime, you know, but you know, what are you doing anyway after nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock? That time of the day, you'll, you'll fall in, you know, eating food, uh, watching a uh, reality TV or uh, checking your social media, you know, like everybody is off there anyway, you know, so you might as well go to bed so you can wake up early in the morning. See, waking up early in the morning comes down to a few couple of things. First of all, wake up early, roughly around six, like five to six a.m. Between that window, if you can start waking up there and then start your day from there. Second thing I would like you to start doing is that you start doing some sort of exercise straight away when you wake up. If you're as lucky as me to have a gym right next to me in my building, I can go down and do some cardio straight away. I also have attached a sauna, which allows me to go in there and then sit there straight away after. If you can't do that, do some sort of light exercise straight away when you wake up. It could be a slightly little walk for 20 minutes, power walk. But what I basically just want you to do, I want you to get out, wake your body up before you start eating food, before you start planning, before you start thinking about something. So first thing when you wake up in the morning, cold water splash in the face and then go out for a slight little walk, 20 minutes or go on a treadmill for 20 minutes to wake up your body. Then I would like you to you know, come back, obviously have a quick little shower and then I'm gonna start doing meditation. Meditation is, shown by lots of lots of signs that have beneficial for stress, anxiety, confidence, well-being, sleep, you know, aging. Like there's so many great benefits that have shown in using meditation. And a good way you can do it is just basically just go on YouTube and download or listen to free uh, guided meditations. I currently do Headspace, which is a subscription channel where you pay, I don't know, 12, 15 bucks a month and you can do lots of different courses in there right now. And the meditation is a guided meditation with lots of free time in there where you're gonna work with yourself. And it basically comes down to that you're gonna detach from your thoughts, focus on your breath, focus on your physical body, focus on the sounds around you. But what it basically does overall, it pulls you away from all the noise from the external world, give you a free space to clear your mind, freshen everything up, before you're going out to the world and taking on the world, you know, you're checking in with yourself, you're making sure you're in alignment with who you are, what you be, you're quiet and you spend time, respectable time, valuable time for yourself before you go out to the world. After you've done your meditation, then I would like you to start doing some journaling. Journaling again, is a little bit similar like, like the meditation because you are thinking with your thoughts at the same time as you're writing it out. So what I'm currently doing right now, or what I've done for, for many years, um, in the morning I always write down my goals and I write them in first person. So that means that I am, I have, I have done, I have bought, I have given certain things right. You wanna write it down as you're already in a position of it. Again, your mind here doesn't know between something that's imagined and something that's actually happened in the real world. So when you can imagine, when you can set a feeling, a thought into, I am already in position of this thing here, your brain starts working on it. It starts coming up with solutions. You start putting it into your subconscious mind. And the reason why you do that straight away after you've done your meditation is because when you've done your meditation, you took your brain into a certain state that allows you to be more focused, that allows you to be more creative, that opens up new 
um, ways of seeing the things right. So because when you're full of busy with, with, with work and emails and phones and all that sort of stuff, your brain is operating on a different level in a different state. So you want to do your journal right after you've been doing your meditation because you pull down your, your creativity, you pull down your level of you being able to focus and you open up the opportunity to put it into your subconscious mind. Journal right after you've been doing your meditation. So again, another thing here I would like you to start doing is that, or rather not doing, is that you are not going to check your phone right away in the morning. So you're going for exercise, waking up your body, you have a shower, you do meditation, you do your journey, you don't check your phone the first hour in the morning. And what I mean by that is that you don't check your notification, you don't check your email, WhatsApp, Facebook, text message or anything. And the reason for that is because you don't want to teach yourself and you don't want to put yourself into a reactive state. So again, your mind is fresh, your mind is open for everything. That's why you want to put good things into the morning. But if you're opening up your phone straight away, you might see an email you didn't want to see. You might see a client that's jumping off. You might see, you know, someone has canceled on you. You want to make sure that this is not coming into you right away in the morning. You want to make sure that you're completely in a force of good, controlling the space around you before you're taking on the outer world. So again, that, that can take you roughly around 45 minutes, what I've been talking right now. Then you can go into your process of doing your breakfast as you're usually doing in all that. Another thing I would like to put into your nutrition there, a good, good thing I'm doing right away in the morning is first of all, I drink a big, big glass of water or half a liter of water. And then I boil some water and put apple cider vinegar, salt, a lemon into a little glass, and then I put some boiled water into it to have it as a shot. Lots of lots of health benefits are shown by, by using apple cider vinegar and lemon and Himalaya salt for vitamins, minerals, enzymes, and all that. It's very, very alkaline and all that for your body as well. So that's a really, really good way you can start your morning with drinking those things then. To recapture the whole thing, how do you set up your morning routine so it works for you, so it turns on really, really good energy and emotions for you? Wake up early, exercise right away in the morning, have a cold shower, shower, meditate, write journal, and then don't check your phone for the first 60 minutes of the day. And I promise you, you will be in a full space around you. You're building up that focus and that, that circle around you of you're in control right? You're respecting yourself. You're looking after yourself first before you're taking on all the external things that will come at you throughout the whole day. This is a recipe for success. This is what I'm currently doing. This is what I've been doing for many years now. And I've seen it work for me and hundreds and hundreds of clients out there. They're implementing those things. I'm not saying straight away that you're going to put it all into your life. I encourage you to start picking up some of the things I'm talking about and then start implementing into your life in the right order that you feel it's good suited for you that you can take on and develop the new habits around. So again, if you like more of those videos, please put down in your comment, hit the subscribe button and I look forward to talk to you very, very soon, legend.